Hey everyone, it's Dennis Wood here from Cinevate, here for another segment of Cinevate's Video University. This one dealing with a product that's been um, in development for quite some time, and uh, we are finally able to present it. So it's kind of an exciting uh, time for us here um, in terms of the Cyclops, which you may have heard, you may have seen some sneak peeks, now we have the real thing. This is the core, essentially, with some longer rods in it, and it's got our new um, shoulder pad system and counterbalance. So you'll recognize the core, uh, probably from a video that uh, Dave Clement and uh, Peter Skoransky of uh, Catchlight put together. Um, and they are, in fact, the fellows behind the camera. So this should be the best looking, best sounding uh, video university ever because uh, we've got some real uh, professionals behind the uh, the cameras on this one So we're gonna take this stuff out in the field and, and show you but right now we're gonna focus on Cyclops so essentially I mean this is a pretty big rig and The fillable counterbalance allows you to put in sand uh, You could put in water bottles you could put uh, the lid comes off you can put anything in there so I should be able to just slide this right off and I can and place the shoulder pad on and you can see Cyclops at this point is right in front of my face. And uh, we're gonna show you um, a lot related to this product. Um, and in this case, you might look at this and think to yourself, well, this is you know a pretty elaborate rig out of my budget. And today, my job is to show you um, how Cyclops, how effective it's gonna be for people who are on a budget. Because on our quick release system here, which is kind of a, easy release. I now have Cyclops um, out and I've got it on our sled and I've got it on a quick release plate. So I could uh, again magically transform this. I'm going to go ahead and remove this rig off again and just set it behind me down here. Hopefully you won't hear a crash. Lo and behold, we now have just a basic sled on Cyclops which we can slide into play here. And in its basic configuration, now we've got a viewer and we've got a camera. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna show you how this basic uh, sled, which in its configuration is under $400, is going to build itself up into a rig um, from a very inexpensive base. We'll also show some of the features that I think you're gonna really appreciate uh, with respect to Cyclops. All right, so we've got the Cyclops here on a just sitting on a tripod with a quick release plate. I'm just gonna take it off and show you some of the kind of cool features of this thing. So, first of all, one of the big things you'll see right away, in fact, I'm gonna fire this camera on so you can see it, is that the viewfinder is actually quite usable um, from a distance. So, if I fire into the camera there, you'll see that it's a very large optic. It's a 72 millimeter optic. It's an, actually an acromat, uh, macro lens, essentially, um, which means it's made of two different types of glass that it's bonded together. It's very, very sharp. Um, I go on a limb here and say it's probably the sharpest viewfinder on the market because it's the only one that uses an expensive optic like that. One of the other kind of cool things here is that this optic can actually be removed from the unit. So if I go ahead and take the uh, viewfinder off, which I can do, it just, uh, here's our height adjustment right here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Hopefully there won't be a crash and a bang here, but it should be okay because what I can do is basically remove the entire optic. And if I go ahead and, and uh, remove the shrouds, which I can do, I'm just gonna show you. You can actually untwist these, which also makes them infinitely adjustable, I suppose, for, for height. There we go. You'll see at some point here, if all goes well, on that, and that's on a little bit tight, yeah. But I now have a very high quality macro that if I wanna do some macro photography with the 70, in this case it's a 72, I can use a step down ring and actually put it on the front of the camera. So if you need to do macro photography and you need, this optic would typically cost you about $400 all by itself. Um, and it would be described as a plus five macro. So it's a powerful, very high quality uh, macro lens, which is the heart of the system. So again, I can throw this all back together and I can put this on. While this is off here though, I'll show you some of the detail on the plate, um, we built in adjustments for both X and Y. So essentially, regardless of where your LCD is, we can adjust to it. We can height adjust, and we can also move X and Y. 
So if you have um, a battery grip on here, or if you have a, a full, like a, a, a 1D, or a D3S, a Nikon D3S, they're all fatter and they're taller. And there's enough adjustment here. We've designed just enough so that you can raise and slide the unit back and forth to match your camera. One of the other things that was really important to us is that we designed the, uh, the viewfinder and the plate to maintain the optical center of the camera. So it's really important with um, anything that you're putting underneath the camera or over it, uh, particularly if you're adding it to a rig like you saw earlier, is to maintain this optical center. So in this case, we've got, you can see the quick release plate is down here, but our viewfinder is actually off a little bit to the left. So by making sure that the plate has the adjustment for the optic, we ensure that your camera and its quick release plate stays at the optical center. So if you're sliding in and out of a follow focus situation or um, you've got peripherals, it's, you're not gonna want your rig off to the left or right. And we know there are viewfinders out there that uh, have this issue and uh, you have to use cheese plates and, and, and parts to correct. So in this case, we're just using, uh, we're just maintaining optical center, which is uh, really important, I think, in all of our rigs. One of the most important features is that everyone's gonna call this a viewfinder, but it's my job here today to tell you that it's not really a viewfinder. Um, yes, it's, it's, it's a way to shoot in sunlight, um, but in this case, it's a fairly large optic, which means that you don't actually have to put your eye into it. You could be using our tracking. You can still see what's going on on the viewfinder on the LCD, but you don't have to have your face stuck to it, which I think is gonna be kind of liberating in terms of the way people shoot.